Hello Lilas, welcome back to my channel. Guys, if you're not subscribed to this channel, make sure that you go ahead and subscribe to this channel by smashing that red subscribe button. Click the bell to be a part of the notification squad. And guys, if you want to be a part of the chatterbox, the link is in the description box. It is $1.99 to join and you do have to be grown, like at least 18 or older to join. Um, so anyway, I'm not going to go into too much. Um, I will say that um, if you guys are, oh, I just came up with an idea. I may actually root him some eyebrows. But anyway, um, <laughs> if you guys, um, I don't know what I was going to say. But anyway, I want to make this really quick. I just wanted to pop on and let you guys see baby see the baby and of course I decided to go with the name baby Micah um so I was asking people for names and I got a lot of names I almost went with Nathan um being that my father middle name was Nathaniel so I really thought about going with Nathan for him um, um, first time I ever wanted to kind of, I don't know. So I, I did think about that and calling him Nate. So I was like, oh, I'll name him Nathan and call him Nate. But I think Micah is the name that first came to me when I, someone, Jessica on Facebook, uh, had said he looked like a Micah and when she said that it kind of like I was like yeah because I, I see him as a Mikey so yeah so anyway I never put a magnet in his mouth um, a lot of my personal babies I don't put magnets in their mouths that's why if I decide to sell a baby out of my personal collection I'm like oh I gotta set the magnet so just so you know unless they're a baby that I feel like is definitely gonna be a strong passy baby but I love his little mouth so much I out I will put a pacifier in his mouth that often plus he can take just the clip nipple passy so like if I really wanted to give him a passy I could give him a passy with the clip nipple but he's just so adorable without it so the the thing that gets me for him about this particular scope is that um I love when babies like and and I, when I say babies, meaning the reborns or silicones, I love when their fa facial features are so defined. And his facial features to me are just so defined. Um, his nose is very prominent on his face. His, you know, big eyes. Like, he is so realistic to me in his face. Like, his face is just amazing. And not that the rest of him is not realistic, but his face just pulls me in every time and like when I saw him as a blank sculpt I got so excited and when I do when I see a blank sculpt that I can really really fall in love with um I know those are the ones that's gonna really pull my heartstring if I paint them right and when I say paint them right like you know how you see some sometime artists including myself like you see a kit and you're like it's a beautiful skin tone but for whatever reason like the facial features just didn't pop with that skin tone if that makes sense so I kind of like sometimes I'll paint a baby and the skin tone just it's beautiful but and the sculpt is beautiful but together it just didn't really give me that my ovaries are about to bust filling. So, um, so anyway, he, he turned out the way he did. I, you know, experimented with some colors. His lip color is very, very realistic to a baby of his skin tone and what I had in mind. Um, I, um, secretly did have some some 
never mind. <laughs> but anyway, I um I love him. So last night I woke up because I I had to go to bed kind of early because of my head was hurting and so I woke up in the wee hours um because I've slept so long, you know. So I'm like, I'm, I'm restless, I need to get up. So I got up and I dressed him. So that's how he, he ended up in this. And I grabbed a, you know, a pacifier that was clipped to see what he looks like with a pacifier. But I laid him across my lap for a while and it was just such a calm came over me. And I just, I got really sleepy. So I put him on a little pillow and so he slept there. And then, um, so he didn't ever make it to his bassinet last night. But it's really um, exciting and um, rewarding when you have babies in your collection that are not just because, oh, I love this sculpt, oh, I love this artist's work. But, I mean, and when I say, oh, I love the sculpt, like, oh, it's cute, you know. But it's like, oh my God, you get this, he looks so real, the sculpting is so real, like, or this, I don't know, like, I don't know how to explain it, I don't know if it's me, or am I weird, or crazy, or what, but some babies really feel like babies when I look at them, like, I feel this feeling, it's, uh, I don't know, it's just like it, you know how you ride on a roller coaster, and you, they go, when you get ready to do that drop, your stomach flips. So I get these little butterflies. And I know it's a doll, but um, when I see it, something triggers in me and say baby. And um, here recently, like I said, and I keep saying this because it's really, it is what it is. I've really, really been in tune into like the small newborns, the preemies. And maybe because as a first time grandmother, I, my daughter gave birth to twins, um, Aubrey and Audrey. But I think a part, there's a part of me that, um, there's this void or, I don't know, like it's a, a piece of me that was broken being not able to like be there so um you know with COVID they wasn't letting anyone up there you know it was not only was it just that she was giving birth to, for the first time but she was having so much um it was it wasn't a normal delivery she was going into labor early that's when your mom should be there you know and it was just and i then i wanted to hold them i couldn't hold them um you know my grandbaby was months months old before i even got to even see her in person and then to get to hold her so i don't know so i started painting you know lily grace and then we lost um, Aubrey, and that was hard. And um, so I don't know, I just kind of poured myself into my work. Um, it kept me busy, it kept me occupied. And um, I was very excited about a preemie, and I talk about this a lot. I know I repeat myself a lot, but it just makes sense into what I'm saying. So I was really excited about painting this preemie, this micro preemie baby that I saw that I really liked. Um, but I was denied the, the opportunity to purchase that baby. And it was during that time frame. And so it really, really bothered me. But, you know, you know, thank God that there's not just one sculpt out here and so I that's when I fell in love with Lily Grace um the Mick sculpt by uh Audrey Stoetti so anyway 
So he has a little prick on the bottom of his feet. I don't know if you guys can see that. But, um, so, and so I, I looked at pictures of my grandbabies, which I'll be honest, I don't know which one is which in those pictures because in that moment, they looked so much alike. I don't know which twin. <laughs> That's why I never say the name. I don't know which twin had the markings. I want to think that it's Audrey, um, the surviving twin, because she still kind of have those some of those marks. But... So I put some of those marks into Lily Grace. So that's why Lily Grace is very sentimental. And um, yeah, so then, you know, so I, so I think that sometime I'm inspired in my collection, of course. Well, most of the time, my inspiration come from real life experiences or, you know, ch my children my children that I you know have and or family or whatever but mostly um I remember when I first started collecting every baby had a story it came at a time that reminded me of oh this was when I was going through this and I bought this baby or this is when this was going on and I got this baby um but I never really there a lot of them just came and went I used to keep them all and never sold any. And I used to think, oh, I'm never, how can people just keep selling babies? Da, 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 da. And so I held a lot of babies and I had about 20 in here at one time. Um, but I think as, you know, my collecting style has morphed into more of, I only want babies that are, that I feel are really truly keepers. Now, if down the road something happened and I have to let them go, you know, that's that. But it's going to take a lot for me to let one go. That's the kind of, you know, direction I'm going for my collection. So I have a baby in my collection right now that I really, really like. I love the skin tone. Um, there's not a lot of, lot of strong emotions into that particular baby because I'm not, the sculpt doesn't draw me in. If that makes sense, it's like the sculpt doesn't have a soul. Um, but I love my painting on the baby. I love, like, the skin tone turned out, like, really perfect. So, I I still want to keep it, but that's probably the only baby that I have in my collection at the moment that may be, like, one that at some point gets sold. Um, maybe not. Maybe when I actually finish her she will it will be different but nevertheless you know there's there's a little backstory i don't even know uh that wasn't even what i came on to talk about but you know sometimes when i sit down and do videos because i don't really i'll grab the camera put put it on the tripod get the baby and i'm thinking like oh i saw this in the forums yeah i, I have this opinion on it. i think i'm gonna talk about that right and then I sit down and I totally forget what I'm talking about. By the time I do that long behind intro of make sure you do this, make sure you do that. Follow me guys on Instagram. That was a plug. Um, it's the same as Miss Ernie Smith. I forgot to tell y'all that in the beginning. Um, but anyway, by the time I get through doing all that, I forget what I came on to talk about. So, and then I just start talking and it's like, who knows where this conversation is going to go. Um, I don't typically edit so it's kind of unfiltered but anyway nevertheless this is my little boy he's a baldy right now um he's like i said he he is very painted very realistic um i use some different colors with him that i don't normally use so well i don't say that i don't normally use but you know different combination um so even though him and lily grace look closely in color i'm going to show a picture on my instagram and on my facebook to show that their color is really different so oh and all this time i didn't say he's worn by laura to Zaras, but i think he's supposed to be 17 inches but this is newborn that he has on and as you guys can see it's a petite newborn and it fits him like perfect 
um he's wearing newborn carter shoes because he has really nice size feet um so it's safe to say that he's like very newborn so i find that our dolls our reborns are typically like bigger they're not really true to size of the what i mean and when i say this when by the time we dress them stuff them weight them for whatever reasons usually the babies don't seem to be really true to size like say we say the baby is newborn but the baby is 21 inches long or 20 inches long rarely do a woman give birth to a 21 inch baby now i'm not don't hold me to that but i mean my babies and my son is six five right now six feet five inches i guess and he's he was like 19 inches when he was born so technically you know they're usually and i think i was long i think my mom said i might have been 21 inches or something like that. i was long I don't know what I was, but I was I was long. I think she said I was like that. But I'm not saying it doesn't happen. But, I, t you know, the babies to me don't give me that real true newborn feel. But sometimes if the baby is a like a large preemie or, you know, he might have been like 34 weeks or something like that, like close to full term. But he gives me that freshly newborn, just a little you know younger type look when i when i see him and it's it's something about that that really pulls my heartstrings so um and like i said his his face is very narrow like he's not you know i don't know some some people make babies they're preemie but they look so grown like they look way older than a preemie baby um, preemie babies don't come fully into their features, so they kind of look a little funny looking at first. And I, I, I say that lightly, but they are. They're like, their little features are like, sometimes their features are way more than their little bodies. Or like their eyes are really big, or their hands are big, and the feet are big, but their little body is really skinny and narrow and petite. Like, they're not fat normally. So, his limbs, to me, are give me more of a almost newborn or a new a actual newborn because he has fat thighs but his face is totally 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 it can be totally preemie or very young newborn so i mean yeah so anyway that's what i love about him and i love his like his little gums and stuff let's see if we can oh move your hand like See, you can see his gums. There you go. <laughs> oh man. So there you have it. So I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching, guys. Um, tell me if you like the name Micah. Um, he almost was turned into a limb, but two. That was another name I, I was considering, but he's definitely Micah. So that's Mikey. Micah. My car. <laughs> All right. Later, guys.